welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest and greatest news from the world of sports. Today, we've got some hot off the press updates about the NBA's expansion plans. The league might be growing, and two cities are buzzing with excitement. From the upcoming media rights negotiations to a possible celebrity team owner, outlining any implications and when to expect the real deal. But before we dive into all the details, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss any of our awesome content. Now, let's get right into it. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver has set the rumor mill ablaze by confirming that the league is seriously considering expanding its teams. That's right, we might soon see the NBA go from 30 teams to 32. And you know what that means, more thrilling games, more superstars, and more unforgettable moments on the court. So, which lucky cities could be welcoming new NBA franchises? Two frontrunners are in the spotlight, Seattle and Las Vegas. Seattle, the former home of the Supersonics, has been on the minds of many basketball fans, and it seems like the league has its eyes set on the Emerald City once again. Plus, who can forget the incredible success of NHL's expansion to Las Vegas? The City of Lights has proven that it's a major player in the sports world. Now, before we get too carried away with excitement, let's remember that Commissioner Silver has made it clear that there's no rush. The current top priority is wrapping up the NBA's media rights deal, which is set to expire after the 2024-25 season. Only after that's squared away will the league turn its attention to expansion. So, we'll have to be patient, but hey, good things come to those who wait, right? Besides, we've got a ton of action to look forward to in the meantime. The NBA is always evolving, and it's only natural for organizations to grow over time. So, if expansion happens, we can expect the league to do it right. They want to make sure all the administrative stuff is taken care of, like the collective bargaining agreement and the media rights deal, before they go ahead with any new teams. The clock is ticking, though. The exclusive negotiating period between the NBA and its current TV partners ends next April. So, there's some serious behind-the-scenes work going on, and we can't wait to see what's in store for us fans. It's been a while since the NBA added an expansion team. The last one was in 2004 when the current iteration of the Charlotte Hornets joined the league as the Charlotte Bobcats. After a whopping 20 years in 2024 we can potentially witness two other stakeholders in the NBA. Seattle is no stranger to the NBA. Remember the Supersonics? They were a fan favorite until 2008, and now they might make a triumphant return. The city's Climate Pledge Arena, formerly Key Arena, is all set and ready to host a team again. Plus, the NHL's Seattle Kraken have already made themselves at home there. On the other hand, we've got Las Vegas, the city that never sleeps, and the NBA loves the energy there. They host the Summer League every year, and there's a new in-season tournament coming soon. Plus, the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights and the NFL's Las Vegas Raiders have already proven that Sin City can handle major pro teams. But here's the big question, how will all this expansion stuff play out? Some say the NBA's current viewership decline, caused by getting a bit too woke, might affect their media rights deal money. That's where expansion fees come in. The expansion fees for new teams could bring in a massive cash infusion for the 30 current NBA clubs. Back in 2021, ESPN's Brian Windhorst reported a whopping $2.5 billion expansion fee being discussed. If that's the case, each existing team could net around $160 million. It's a tempting option, like a break in case of emergency plan if the next rights deal doesn't pan out as expected. But, there's a catch, would anyone be willing to shell out that much money for a new team in a league that's not at its peak? Some folks, like OutKick founder Clay Travis, have voiced concerns about the league's viewership decline due to diving into politics. But hey, nothing is set in stone, and the NBA is always striving to improve and adapt. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Moving on to the NBA's Commissioner Adam Silver who has been playing a game of back and forth when it comes to expansion plans. But hold on, folks, because it's far from a done deal. He denied rumors last year, but he's hinted at the league expanding in the future. So, the question on everyone's minds is, will we see new teams in the NBA soon? Las Vegas has been making huge strides in the sports world. 
With the NHL's Golden Knights and the NFL's Raiders in town, the city is on fire. Even MLB's Oakland Athletics are eyeing Vegas for a potential move. Silver has talked about the possibility of a team in Vegas, and Mayor Carolyn Goodman believes it's just a matter of time before the NBA joins the party. And guess what? NBA superstar LeBron James has dropped hints about owning a team in Las Vegas. Imagine King James as an NBA team owner. That would be epic, wouldn't it? But let's not forget about the Emerald City, Seattle. NBA fans have been hoping for a return since the Supersonics left in 2008. Mayor Bruce Harrell recently expressed his confidence that Seattle will get a team sooner than later. They've got a fantastic stadium and the financial backing to support a team. The excitement is real. So, what's the verdict? Is NBA expansion a done deal, or is it still up in the air? Well, one thing's for sure, Commissioner Silver has kept us all guessing. Expansion might be on the horizon, but it's not on the front burner just yet. Are you rooting for Seattle or Las Vegas to land a new NBA team? Or do you have your eyes set on another city altogether? Share your thoughts in the comments below. According to the one and only Rick Booker, LeBron James is apparently in the pole position to become the owner of the Las Vegas expansion franchise. Can you believe it? The king could soon be ruling over an NBA team. Now, here's the big question, what does this mean for LeBron's playing career? The timing of it all is crucial. When will he make the monumental decision to step aside from the court and transition into the role of an owner? We've seen LeBron's brilliance on the court for years, but could he soon be calling the shots from the sidelines as an owner? It's an exciting prospect, and we can't wait to see how it all unfolds. NBA expansion brings a whole lot of repercussions, not just for LeBron, but for the league as a whole. New teams mean new rivalries, new talent, and more thrilling matchups. Are you ready to see LeBron James as an NBA team owner? And which city are you rooting for to get their own franchise? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. As the league evaluates potential markets and considers the implications of expansion, fans and basketball enthusiasts alike are eagerly awaiting the big reveal. It's a time of excitement, anticipation, and dreams of seeing new teams compete on the grand NBA stage. So, don't forget to like this video if you're thrilled about the NBA's expansion plans and share your thoughts in the comments below. Which city do you think deserves an NBA team? And how do you think expansion will impact the league's future? Let's keep the conversation going, and we'll keep you updated on all the latest NBA expansion developments. Until next time, keep ballin' and stay tuned for more exciting sports news.